Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a five dang brand bars. We've never had this brand before. Before We spotted them in Whole Foods. They were $2.69 a piece. These are the only ones they had when we were in Whole Foods. So they might have a lot of other flavors, but these are just the ones we got our hands on. Uh, I have the almond cookie, the peanut butter, the crazy rich chocolate. Uh, lemon matcha and mint chocolate. Okay. So yeah. this is the same dang brand that was same dang brand uh, that was uh, the the uh, coconut chips. Is I this hope the same so. One? I don't know. It looks the same. Uh, we really liked those. Um, their dang brand like coconut chips. Or coconut, yeah, they're little shavings, and they're so good. It's, they make a terrific snack. Um, these are they look like it. All keto friendly. The almond cookie has three grams of sugar, five grams of net carbs, nine grams of protein. These are made in Berkeley, California. Dang Foods Company. That's the same that's company. Good. Yeah. Dangfoods.com. Dang, that's good. <laughs> Uh, one bar, 40 grams, is 210 calories. These are non-GMO, plant-based, and gluten-free. So. How hard are they? They're not hard at all. <laughs> You'll be able to cut it. Almond cookie. And let's see. The first ingredient is almonds. And then chicory root fiber, cocoa butter. Um, let's see. It also contains coconut. When I first showed you it, I immediately didn't like it. But now that the flavors have settled in, it's not bad. Um, you really get a lot of the coconut flavor. But it's like a raw coconut. There's no sweetness to it. I'm getting a lot of almond. I got a lot of almond right at the first, and then mm -hmm. I got coconut kind of developed after I that. I mean, it's like, for me, it's like uh, the raw almond with no sweetness at all. Yeah. So you get, and, no salt and you do either. get coconut. I do get the texture of coconut. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a lot to, for your mouth to do to keep you busy, but there's absolutely no uh, sweetness at all. And uh, the but flavor is milk. just almond and coconut. Yeah, but you might like that no sweetness thing. It's not bad. The textures are okay. It's very crunchy with that coconut texture as well. Um, it, it's a little grittiness to it, but not not really bad. I don't dislike it, but it's not a lot of flavor. No, it's not a lot going Unless on. Unless you like almond and coconut. Um, what do you think? Did, did you think it had a little bit of a protein bar kind of flavor? I did not, no. I got just a touch of that, right? That's why I said I didn't like it at the very beginning. I got just like a protein bar kind of right. flavor, but then it kind of went away. So it must have been something else. It's also a little dry. It's a little bit dry, yeah. Uh, this is the peanut butter. Three grams of sugar, five grams of net carbs, nine grams of protein, 210 calories. I wonder if they're all the same calorie. This is a little crumbly. So it looks about the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah, it <laughs> looks the same. Yeah, these are a little crumbly. They're uh, they're a little dry. Ugh. This one's dry than the first one. Yeah. Just by cutting it, you can kind of tell. The number one ingredient is peanuts. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. I get a peanut butter kind of flavor from it. I like the flavor at the start. Better than the end. Oh, God. Yeah, the end is nasty, though. It's odd. I don't know what that is. I don't either. When I, when I first started eating it, it, I tasted that peanut flavor. Mm -hmm. But then it developed into something that was really strong and, and you know, odd flavor. Very off-putting. It doesn't taste like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But it has all kinds of stuff going on, so who knows the way these things mix together. Pea protein, sunflower seeds, Chia seed, sea salt, um, stevia extract. You just don't know how these things are going to mix together with the peanut flavor. Yeah, um, that, one, that one, the aftertaste is really. Cocoa butter, almonds. Yeah, it started off fine. I do. I would never get that again, no, though. I do no, not like really flavor that. Um, I do have to say you get a lot of coconut in all these. Yeah, you do. Crazy rich chocolate. Uh, two grams of sugar, four grams of net carbs, nine grams of protein. 210 calories again. I have so much coconut, you have to kind of 
But look at the side of this. You can see that it has a lot in it. The coconut hangs around for a while. This, um, <laughs> it smells good. It does smell really nice. Uh, the first ingredient is almonds, which you saw. Uh, chicory root fiber, pea protein, which has been in all of these. Sunflower seeds, cocoa butter, coconut. Uh, cocoa chocolate. Again, that one kind of ends on a, a little bit of a funky flavor. It ends, um, I don't mind it. It ends bitter. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a very, very bitter dry chocolate flavor like a cocoa powder mm -hmm. it's like cocoa powder mixed with almonds and coconut and there's no sweetness at all mm -hmm. and it really dries your mouth out yeah it does really dries your mouth out um i like that one better than the peanut butter one but uh, this is the uh, lemon matcha it is also 210 calories I'm assuming the last one's gonna be 210 too. Oh, smells like lemon. Uh, so this could go either way. It depends on what kind of lemon they use. Same ingredients, except it's gonna have the lemon oil. You know? It's not the lemon that I don't like. It's that same aftertaste. On the actual wrapper, it says they're just, oh, they're distributed by Dang Foods in Berkeley, California. You know where these are actually made? Canada. No, Canada didn't bake our, these, you're not living up to your thing, Canada bakers. <laughs> Canada can't help it if Americans say, this is our recipe and you have I to know. make it. You just make it our you way. You just make it our way. That's not Canada's yeah. fault. That's not um, good either. I don't mind that. It's got an after, that same aftertaste. I don't mind this because it's not like the peanut butter. <coughs> the peanut butter was just, it, it, something went wrong. Uh, the lemon, I still do taste lemon though. Yeah, I get lemon too. Lemon uh, and coconut. So I don't <laughs> mind the lemon bars. Um, honestly, if I was on keto though, <coughs> I think I would find something else. Yeah. Mint chocolate. And this has a lot going on. Looks just like the chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they just added mint oil or something to it. Yeah, it's interesting that they're stamped. They didn't actually write uh, made in Canada. They wrote distributed out of Berkeley, California. They stamped when they put the date on here. They made sure they put that it was made in Canada. No. I'm not, I'm not even done chewing it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to finish. No, that's pretty bad. Mm. I think all these bars really don't want it. Are avoidable. That is the worst mint I've ever had. But it's mixed with whatever that other funky flavor is in there. It's like toothpaste though. It is a straight up toothpaste mint. Do you not get that? Yeah, but I'm wondering what that. I mean, I could live with it. If it was toothpaste, if it wasn't mixed with other funkiness. Oh, yeah, it's it's not good at all. But There's an overall funkiness to all these. They all have this like funky aftertaste. I, I don't know who's buying these because... Well, you try them out for once and you go, ugh. And you never buy them. those again. <laughs> if you actually like these, yeah, if you're well, doing well. keto and you really like these, you have to let us know because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the, you're seeing in these. No, because the dang, I'm assuming coconut is keto, I guess. Um, I guess it doesn't have any sweetness to it. Well, I would absolutely buy the, the coconut the, pieces. The coconut pieces. They're terrific. If they're keto, then go for it because um, they're really good. They're so good and they make them in different flavors. Mm -hmm. So you can get them like that tastes like caramel. And I mean, there's just all kinds of different flavors. I wonder if flavors. some of those are sweet though. So they wouldn't they be keto. They probably are, so they wouldn't be keto. But I tell you what, they're so they're very that, good. Same brand, it's so good. 
Um, I just, I would not give any of those. No, no, none of these stand out as something I could even. No. Even uh, Usually I could say, yeah, I can get used to that. These I wouldn't want to get used to. I wouldn't know because they're just so dry and crumbly. And, and aftertaste. Yeah, I think that they did use quality ingredients. I just don't like it. No, maybe it's the pea powder or something. Who I knows? don't know. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.